miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody, just give the Lord something. Can we break this atmosphere tonight in the name of Jesus? Can we open our mouth and just shout the name of Jesus? Come on, somebody, just shout the name of Jesus. Can you shout the name of Jesus? Is something going to change when you shout the name of Jesus? Can you open your own mouth and shout the name of Jesus? Jesus. One more time, hallelujah. Jesus. If you believe that your deliverance in the name of Jesus, can you open your own mouth and shout your deliverance in the name of Jesus? Jesus. Come on, somebody open your mouth and shout Jesus. Jesus. If you believe that you believe that he's God, can you open your mouth and call on his name in this place? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. There are so many souls that are weighing the balance for tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just shout the name of Jesus one more time? Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say birds in the treetop. They're praising the Lord. And then somebody else says, flowers in the gardens, they're bowing down their heads. And then somebody says, angels, they're singing the chorus and they're praising the Lord. So turn to your neighbor and say, why should I? Why should I? Come on, turn to somebody and say, why should I not praise the Lord? Why should I not praise the Lord? Why should I not praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can the choir start that one for me, please? It says, birds in the treetop. Praise the Lord. And flowers in the garden, they're bowing down their heads. Oh, birds in the treetop, praising the Lord. Flowers in the garden, bowing down their heads. The angels sing the chorus, praising the Lord.
grip. Take the grip. Give him the praise. Give him the praise. 
worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. I think God.
will be taken from 1st Timothy chapter 4. We read responsibly. Please indicate by saying amen when you have found it. 1st Timothy chapter 4. I'll begin. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. iron. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wives' fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. For bodily exercise profiteth little. But godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is, and of that which is to come. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach, because we trust in the living God, who is the Savior of all men, especially of those that believe. These things command and teach. Twelve, we'll read together. Let, Let no man despise thy youth, but, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Here in a portion of God's holy word, we are led by saying. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on and lift your hands and just worship God. Give God a wave offering. Hallelujah, what a mighty God. He's already moving in this place. Hallelujah. Whatever you need, just grab it from him tonight. Hallelujah. He is here tonight. Hallelujah. He is here tonight. Hallelujah. He is here tonight. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. We'll continue singing from our Pentecostal hymn now. Number 294, all in him. The mighty God is Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, thank you. Ooh, the 
mighty God is Jesus. The Prince of Peace is He, the everlasting Father, the King eternally, the wonderful in wisdom, by whom all things were made, the fullness of the Godhead, and Jesus is
Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and let's worship God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Don't you know that I'm moving on the king's highway? Moving up the king's highway. Trusting in amazing grace. Trusting in amazing grace. Although Satan is on my track, I'll never, ever, ever turn back. Oh, keep moving up, moving up, moving up. Oh, Lord. Lift your voice and sing. Don't you know that I'm moving up the king's highway. Moving up the king's highway. Trusting in amazing grace. Trusting in amazing grace. Although Satan is on my track.
the highest praise, everybody. Okay, so we'll have the choir minister to us at this moment.
Praise the Lord, everybody. You don't look like you need Jesus, man. Come on, young people. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, jump to your feet. And the song said, I need you. Do you need Jesus tonight? Come on, if you need Jesus, shout the praise. Shout the praise. Shout the praise. Hallelujah. Come on, when you, when you, when you experience the infilling of the Holy Ghost, we must be excited. We're having an overflow from last night. When last you know, hear that person's got the Holy Ghost within praise and worship. Come on, are you excited tonight? Hallelujah! Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, we have been having, you may be seated. I'm just here to greet you quickly. You know, because you know, tomorrow is a very another long day. But while on the way, Minister Whiteley, I got the news that one more received the infilling of the Holy Ghost. I almost run off the road. I said, thank you, Jesus. So when I, when I got here, I told my youth president, we must not be surprised when these things happen. We must be excited and have expectation for more. Hallelujah. So we want to point the hand to the pool and send the name of Jesus. What must go down in the name of Jesus? That is why we are here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please bear with me. My voice is totally gone, but thanks be to God we are here tonight. First that I greet the shepherd of the house, my pastor and bishop, Bishop Keith Morris. Put your hands together for him, saints. One who have been working working, working. Next let I greet especially the viewers online who have been here with us from Wednesday night to last night to tonight. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for those that are online. Hallelujah. Next let I greet the saints out of good intent. My dear friend evangelist Doyle and the saints who have been here with us from today. Stand and give a praise. Come on, saints. Put your hands together for them. Praise God. We will give apologies for their youth president. Hallelujah. I know that she's online watching. Greet you, missionary Robinson. Can't wait to have you back on the battlefield with us. God bless you. Next we have Minister Calvin, man out of Bull Bay. And out of troubling. Praise God. Next that I greet um, Joblin, Missionary Calvin and the saints out of Joblin. Where are you, Joblin? Stand and give a praise. Praise God. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. The pastor is our dear elder Anthony Morris. One of the church in central that are on a rise. And we give God thanks for them. Praise the Lord Jesus. Our uh, God, we have on the list here our capital. I call down by, down by Savalamar. I call down their H quarters. We call down their Jerusalem. Yes, yes, yes. We have a lot of representatives tonight. But I first want to make welcome of our dear evangelist Grant. Who have been here with us from today and the saints and also on the rostrum we have the youth president my dear evangelist missionary Shanique we have representative from the national youth department missionary Noble Grant the new acting president and the advisor to the national department missionary Lloyd Perry put your hands together for them come on Savlama let her get a praise Put your hands together for them. Praise God. They are really enthused because they were here discussing today, Bishop, how to rebuild in the 21st century. And we give God thanks. I saw that they are still excited in the name of Jesus. Also, I want to make welcome of my dear we're Signam, Sister Shanique, and the saints out of Signam. Where are you? Come 
Come on, man. One more time. Praise God. Put your hands together for them. I was looking around for her, but it looked like you want to serve. So you're just fitting in the list. I almost missed her. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> Praise God. She's the PRO for the Central Diocese, a part of the national body also. Put your hands together for her. A true worker. Let, let, I, take, let I tell you about sacrifice. They have been at an all-night prayer meeting last night. And when she got off this morning, I was coming off work also. She said, Prezi, I'm on my way. And they had whole up, but they came to the latter end of today's service. And they're back here tonight to lift up Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. I take special pleasure with introducing this church, Bamboo Spring Elder Howell and the saints out of Bamboo Spring. Yes. Come on, shout a praise. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Thanks be to God. Um, yes, he... Yeah? Bishop, man. Yeah, take it on my mouth, man. You train me, no, man. Yes, man. I may, may I let out a secret tonight again. Yes. Come on, stand up, Mr. Howell. Let I tell you something. I remember going down to Bamboo Spring and I said, these persons are just radical. When we were there preaching the night, them took up all the chair out of the church. I would just have preached and I praise God in there. The Lord has blessed them with his lovely wife. Come on, stand up. Let, 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 let I, I tell you the connection. She's out of Stettin. She was the past youth president. When me call Stettin, I'm by the way, some I'm now worshiping at Bamboo Spring. I'm now Mistress Howell. Put your hands together for them, and they're here tonight. Hallelujah. And I must make mention Elder Howell has been here since the start of the week, right, Bishop? And he's here tonight with the youths. That sacrifice, and we give God thanks. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, Minister Hall and Saints out of Melrose Apostolic. Praise Jesus. And the saints? Two, three. One more time. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. It's one of the church where I, where I reside. I reside up at Melrose. So my community is literally overlooking where they are. So I know no can't shout because I'm here when I'm down there. I said, praise Jesus. So stand to your feet and give a praise inside the house. Come, Melrose. I know you can't shout, man. Come on, let the hero. One, two, three. Ah, uh, yes. Put your hands together for them. Glory to God. Also, a speaker for tonight, but let I, I jump over here. Pastor Wellington and the saints out of, oh, okay, yes, same church. All right, so you're going to stand with your pastor and the saints tonight. Montpelier and the saints, stand to your feet and give a praise. One more time, Montpelier. Bless the Lord Jesus. Put your hands together for them. Uh, God, I give thanks for my dear Elder Whiteley, a very true friend in the body of Christ. You say the COVID did bad, but it did good. Because it's during the COVID, we became brothers on the battlefield. And we give God thanks. We're going to go overseas now. Yes, I know Bishop liked this part of it. When I, I, I make mention, we have... Over there, our own Bishop Paul Davis out of Maryland, Baltimore. Ah, he went around the back. Put hands together. The same bishop that spoke to the saints today. Bishop Paul Davis. He has been here with us since the start of the week. I guess he just stepped out. Uh, we have Pastor Lyndon Morris and Dr. Elaine Morris out of Orlando. That's one of the brothers of our dear Pastor Morris. I'm looking for Elder, Elder John. I guess he's on the outside. Uh, we have Missionary Kerr. 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 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Put your hands together. Come on, man. Worship with them. Praise the Lord Jesus. Or is there any church that we have left out tonight? All right. Let me get beaten. Stettin, Stettin, them there for unto them. Let me talk patwa. Yes, me know you're not going to beat me tonight. Come on, Stettin, stand to your feet and give a praise. <laughs> praise God. Put your hands together for them. I must let the church know. Bishop, they were the first church here today for youths there. So, Minister of Finance will get a good report. I personally will tell him that you were early. Come on, church, put your hands together for step in in the name of Jesus. Is there any other church that is missing tonight? Greenvale? One, two, three. Yes. Uh, you're just blending so nicely like a part of Hearties. But you are a part of Hearties. Praise the Lord. That's the daughter of our dear pastor, Pastor Webb. They have been here with us from Wednesday night. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for them. Yes, yes, yes. I want to cover everybody. It's you tonight. Any other church that we have missed out? Emmanuel. Any saints out of Emmanuel? Slide pro. Praise the Lord Jesus. All right. Going once. I don't hear nobody I say nothing about hearties. You know what I'm calling the name? The saints out of hearties. Stand to your feet and give a praise. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We're about to go to the offering after which our dear bishop and our youth president, Minister Clark, come closer, sir. Put your hands together for our youth president. Come on, man. Put your hands together, man. Yes, man. He has been doing a lot of work. And your executive, sir, the executive that is working along with him in the, in the house, stand to your feet and we can put our hands together. You guys did well. The executive, yes, yes. Yes. Put your hands together for them. You may be seated. I like how him have spiritual ambition. You recognize him? Stand up. Yes, and we are continuing to groom you in the name of Jesus. Right at this time, I believe we go to the choir now to call it the offering. And after which, we'll ask three of the presidents to come and greet us in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. While you're, while you're um, giving your offering, we're going to ask that um, you use the red basket. The red basket is special offering for the speaker tonight, and then the yellow baskets we use for the collecting of the general offering. So that's the red basket is for the speaker, and the yellow basket is for the general offering. Hallelujah. So just... I invite everyone to just stand. Let us just bless the offering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eternal, most righteous, heavenly Father, Lord, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. You are King of kings and you are Lord of lords and you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for giving us another day, O oh God. We thank you for this privilege, O oh God, to be gathered together in your house, O oh God. We thank you for fellowship, O oh Father, for everyone who has come from near and far, O oh God. We give you thanks. God, as we are about to collect an offering, O oh God, we pray, O oh God, that you will bless, hallelujah, this offering, O oh God. Bless each and every one of us, O oh God, that as we give, O oh God, that we will give with a free and a willing heart, O oh God. And we know, O oh God, that we stand and in our promises, O oh God, that you will open up the rooms of heaven and pour us out a blessing, O oh God. Continue to bless us, O oh God, as we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.
show his glory. Let God arise. Put your hands together, buddy. Come on, put your hands together. Stand on your feet and give God praise. Come on, giants must come down tonight. When you pray, when you pray. When you worship, they gotta come down. Come on and lift up your hands. Just worship. When you worship, they gotta come down. 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 They gotta come down.
every giant, every giant must come down. Hallelujah. When you pray, when you pray, when you pray, they gotta come down. When you pray, when you pray, when you pray, they gotta come down. They gotta come down. tell you some of the times when we are at are about to receive hallelujah our some of our great victories yeah. hallelujah that's when the enemy hallelujah builds up some roadblocks build up some walls hallelujah and he tries to shut us down tries to shut down the praise hallelujah but when we praise through it all hallelujah when we praise, hallelujah, every wall must come down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When we worship, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, must fall. Hallelujah. If we see how many windows, hallelujah, our bless, our worship, and our praise, hallelujah, are opening up, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If eyes could see, hallelujah, the windows that are opening up, hallelujah, when we worship, hallelujah. I'm not going to stop. Wait, but when I don't feel like it, I'm going to praise. When I don't feel like it, I'm going to praise. not let our circumstances shut us down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want the speaker to come. Hallelujah. I'm not the speaker. I don't want to take up the time. Hallelujah. But we want to set an atmosphere. Hallelujah. That when the speaker comes, Pastor. Hallelujah. The atmosphere is set. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Right at this time, hallelujah, I'm just going to accept some short greetings from some of the youth presidents, hallelujah, who are here tonight, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me first ask Evangelist Shanik from Savlamar, hallelujah. She can come, hallelujah, and give her praise, hallelujah. going to ask Sister Terry, hallelujah, from Job Lane, hallelujah, to come and just give a short greeting as well. I know the youth president from Brother Davante is not here, but Sister Shanique, will you represent? Hallelujah. I know the youth president for good intent is not here, but Brother Doyle, hallelujah, maybe can represent. So I just ask the youth president just to run up short greetings because we want to put up the speaker before 9.30. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. We want more souls, hallelujah, to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just come, hallelujah. Come on, let's bless the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's bless the Lord, everybody. 
Come on, let's bless the name of the Lord, everybody. I don't know about you, but I already feel the presence of the Lord in this house. Hallelujah to God. And I believe tonight that the Lord is getting ready to pull down some strongholds. And the theme says, arise. I don't know who the theme is talking to tonight. But some young person in here tonight need to get up. Arise and let's get to work. Because there is a work to be done. Hallelujah. Can we lift up our hands and worship the Lord? Hallelujah to God. Let me greet Bishop Morris. Evangelist Morris, God bless you and to all the noble men of God and women of God on the farm. We're here just to worship the Lord. We're here to give him praise. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Bless the Lord. First, let me greet the man of the house, Bishop Morris and his wife and all God's wonderful children in their respective places tonight. I accept greetings on behalf of my youth president and pastor, Pastor Evan Dixon. Tonight I'm just here to worship the Lord. And as we're commissioned tonight to arise and get to work, God bless you. Let's praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's worship the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's give God some praise in the atmosphere. Let's worship the name of the Lord Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Let me honor the Spirit of God tonight. Let me greet. Praise God, Bishop Morris. Praise God and his wife in her absence. Praise God. Let me greet also my pastor in our midst tonight. Praise God, Pastor Anthony Morris. Praise God. Let me greet those who are online. Praise God. And greetings to each and every one in their respective places. Praise God. I was told to be short and I'm going to be short. And I just want to encourage the youths tonight. Whatever talent you have, arise and work for the Lord. Arise to build the kingdom. Praise God. There are souls to rescue and there are souls to save. Praise God. Bless the Lord tonight. Bless God. Greetings to the host pastor and his wife. Greetings to all the other rest of associates. Tonight, I just want to say to somebody that the reward of worship is God. God bless you tonight. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I ask for a representative from Stettin just to come along and just to give a short hallelujah greeting. Praise him. Praise the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord Jesus, everybody. Let me hear you shout hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Just want to greet the Rastam Associate and all my father's children. Tonight, I serve a big, great, wonderful God. And tonight, all we need to do is arise and begin to work. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord again, everyone. We have some representatives from the National Youth Body. We have missionary Loy Perry and evangelist Noble Grant. Hallelujah. Just ask evangelist Noble Grant just to come along and then missionary Minister Perry afterwards. Shall we bless the Lord, everybody? Can we lift our hands in the presence of the Lord? Can we open our mouths and shout a praise unto the Lord tonight? You can do better than that. Can we open up our mouths uh, and just shout a praise? If you know that, you know that if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side, can somebody just worship the Lord? Has anybody been kept by the mighty hand of God tonight? Uh, is there anybody that you know that you know, hallelujah, that if God was not on your side, I tell you, I tell you, our oh God is worthy to be praised. Tonight I greet you well with this mighty team let's get to work we may not work all in the same place hallelujah to god but we have our offices and we have our classrooms let's get to work we tend to want to work a lot when we come to church 
And so sometimes we develop so many conflicts, but we have so many spaces where we ought to be working. Tonight I greet host pastor in the name of Jesus and evangelist. I also greet our speaker to all God's wonderful children. God bless you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord, everybody. Could you just put a smile on your face and just give the Lord a worthy worship? Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. There's nothing that be, can be compared to God tonight. Tonight I am excited. Praise the Lord. I greet Bishop and Evangelist Morris. I greet all the household of faith, all the ministers, every single one, the children of God. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. While I was sitting there, this song came to me. You're too faithful to fail me. And I just want to lift up the name of Jesus tonight because God has been awesome. God has been just that good. Hallelujah. And saints of God, work for Jesus. Let us get on the job. Praise God. You know, my bishop always said before he died, God is the only employer who he will fire you, but you're still hired. Let us not be in that position tonight. Praise God. Let us make sure that if God hire we, we stay hired. Amen, everybody. Praise God. Because we don't want to be working, working and go through, go to hell through the church doors. But tonight we are encouraged. Let's keep on working. Let's keep on working. Let's keep on working. Because there's no greater joy, praise God, that you can ever feel in your life than doing something that God told you to do and you see the, the, the beauty of it all. So I encourage everyone, young people, it's all right. Don't worry about this. If, you, if you stand out, if you are different. That's what you are called to be, praise God. Hallelujah. You, you are supposed to be the trendsetter. People are supposed to want to be like you. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so I encourage everyone to live the life and work the work. God bless you. Hallelujah. All right, so we have some special saints who have made great sacrifice to be in Convocation 2023. Hallelujah. We have some journeying from Canada. I've never been to Canada before, you know, but... <laughs> the closest I've been was probably New York and still a bit of a long flight, so I know it's, some, it's a long journey to get from, to hear from Canada. We also have some from Orlando. It's closer, but it is still a great sacrifice to be here. Hallelujah. So just before, hallelujah, our pastor comes to introduce our speaker tonight, I'm going to ask first Elder Kerr to come and give us a greeting. I'm going to ask Elder John, and I'm going to save, hallelujah, Overseer Linton and his wife for last. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. So praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, I'm so glad to be here tonight just to magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I came in last night and my soul was blessed. Tonight again, my soul is blessed. And tonight I take time out in greeting your pastor, Bishop Morris, to his wife, to all the elders, to all the bishop, to everyone this tonight in your respective places. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Tonight I bring you greetings from my pastor, Bishop Ludlow Miller. Tonight, saints of God, he wanted to tell the saints of Jamaica the time when he was sick, the prior you prayed. And tonight, our pastor is alive and well. Prior is the key, saints of God. Doesn't matter how far you are. Doesn't matter where you are. Just keep on praying. Keep on praying for the church of the firstborn. Tonight, saints of God, be blessed. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's praise the Lord, everybody. I still think you can do better than that. Come on, young people's night. Let's praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. It's great to be in the house of the Lord. And we're glad that the young people can use this medium to praise God. Some is in the world doing something else. But thank God you're in the church giving praise and giving honor to God. What a, what a wonderful thing to be free from sin and of Christ's redeem. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank 
you. Praise the Lord, everyone. I asked my wife to join me at this time. We just want to greet um, host pastor, my brother, Bishop Keith Morris, and his wife and family. My other brother over there, Elder uh, Pastor Anthony Morris. We want to greet also my other brother, just to speak. Uh, Assistant Pastor Curry, that just speak. We just give God thanks for each and every one of you. May God bless you. We are enjoying Convocation 23. Hallelujah, 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 bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah, let me hear all the young people say hallelujah, hallelujah. one more time, hallelujah, I know you shout when you're on the, um, the, 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 ground, the playground, I know you shout, so I want to hear you shout tonight to the king of kings, and to the Lord of Lords. One, two, three. Hallelujah. That's what we want you to do. Praise the King of Kings. I give honor to our Bishop, Bishop Keith Morris and Lady Morris and the congregation here at Hearties. Um, all the workers in their respective positions. May God bless you. We watch you online. We rejoice with you and we are here to support you. Hallelujah. We give God thanks and praise for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. We are in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We are in the highest kingdom that there is. The kingdom of God. And we may not see the reward now, but the reward is coming. But he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. So be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Lay hold on eternal life. Hallelujah. That's the most precious thing we have in this world. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I ask our pastor from Melrose just to come and give us a, a short greeting. Thank you, sir. To Pastor Keith and his dear wife. To all the members of his association and to all the invitees in your respective position. To all you ministers in the restroom. To everyone. I greet you in the name of Jesus. I certainly are thrilled by your team. Arise. Let's get to work. Those are words of wise, youthful exuberance. It tells me something. The youth are ready to work. But Jesus said, I call you because you are strong. So you can just do it. He said, but the whole man, I call you because you know the way. So that means youth is ready to work. It's also a call for the, your, the elderly ones to show them the way. It's a good look. It's a prosperous future. Especially heard of the um, success you had. I bask with you. Praise Jesus. I glorify God. And that, because that's a step in the right direction. God bless you. Work the work. God bless you. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the word? Hallelujah. I invite you all to stand. Hallelujah. Right at this time, hallelujah, I just want to bring to this podium our bishop and our pastor, Keith Morris, in the name of Jesus Christ. Congregation, just clap your hands as he comes. <laughs> You may be seated. Thank you very much, Minister Clark, the president of the youth department here. I must greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. And I want to say welcome to each and every one that make it possible to be in the house of the Lord. We thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for the youth executive. Amen. That is doing a great work in the organization. Put your hands together for them. Amen. Youth is a time to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Young man, I call you because you are strong. Before I put on the preacher, the young people's department should be the strongest department. Amen. Because youth is in your favor. Come on. Youth is in your favor. And whatever you need from God, you can get it in your youth. Because God calls you, amen, to worship him. I also want to greet, amen, those that came from overseas. My brother, Elder Linton Morris from Holiness Born Again Church, Orlando. Amen. We are so grateful. And his beautiful wife, amen, Dr. Morris. We are thanking God. Amen. Allowing them to be here. We also want to thank God for Elder Assistant Pastor, Elder Kerr. Amen. And his wife, Missionary Kerr. And Elder John Morris from Praise Sanctuary. Amen. Down there in Toronto, Canada. We are grateful to have you worshiping God. Yes. And also, amen, amen, the wife of Elder John Morris, amen, evangelist Thelma Morris, she's over there, praise God, amen, and amen, and their son, Jordan, come on, give God a praise for them, amen, I, we appreciate the effort that you have made to be in convocation, we know it's a long flight, but thanks be to God. We are happy that you are here. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hearties, just give them a round of applause, hearties, and give them a big time. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Elder Howell, so good to see you, man. He's my good friend, you know. Elder Howell. Yeah, man. Good friend. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Never miss my yam. Always carrying my yam and my banana and what of you? Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. And so we are grateful. All right. It's time for the word. My Lord, my mind. Look here. Look here. When I, when I came tonight, Minister Clark approached me around the back and said, Sir, you know what just happened in praise and worship? Someone received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Come on. Lord, I wish I had some more people who want to give God some praise. Who want to tell God thanks. I wish I had some people who want to lift their hands and say hallelujah. Woo. Brother Shanti. What's it? Rante, jump up, brother Rante, jump up. Oh, glory to God. Amen. And give God a praise for that, what God has done. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. And I always say that don't wait on the altar call. Come on, amen. You, you can shout right now. Amen. Don't wait until the altar call. While the preacher is preaching, Stay where you are. Get the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues as the Spirit gives you utterance. Amen. And so, right this I'm going to ask you to stand with me. Amen. Time has been far spent and the preacher is burning. Praise God. We have in our midst tonight, amen, a young man whom God has anointed. Uh, I heard him already. And I, I, I saw in him the anointing of God. He is from 
Mount Pelio Apostolic Church. And the pastor is Pastor Wellington. She's not here tonight. Pastor Wellington, could you just wave your hand? Let me see. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Wellington. Amen. And we have, amen, the name of the preacher tonight is Minister Simon Whiteley. He is married. Keep your eyes on the Lord. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. Amen. He is married with one child. Amen. Praise God. He also attends, what I see on the paper here, he also attends UWI. He didn't want us to say that, but yeah, we know. Praise God. But we're thanking God. So we're going to ask you, put your hands together as a welcome to this podium to say, Thus the Lord, Minister White, God bless you. God bless you, Bishop. Can we lift your hands to praise the Lord? I did say lift your hands to praise the Lord. Bishop said something very important. And I always tell people when I go to speak that church is not programmed. The other churches might be programmed. But the apostolic church is not programmed. This is God's church. And if the Lord want to take over right now, I close my mouth, work with somebody at the altar to receive the Holy Ghost, and we give the Lord a praise in the house tonight. Is somebody grateful to God tonight for who he is? Lift your hands and shout a hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. It's good to be in hard tears for the first time in an official church service. And Bishop is laughing. I know why he's laughing. Because when I met him at HBC Content, and after I was finished speaking, he asked me if I've been to Hearties before. I said, yes. I came to Aunt Min, they call her. Missionary Wright, her name was. Funeral. And, and then a minister came with Bishop. I don't see him tonight. He's here. I'm not sure if he's here. No, sir. That's not right. You know, come in. If it's funeral, you come. You don't come to church yet. You came to a funeral. And so tonight, this is my first time in an off church service. And I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord tonight. And God is indeed worthy to be praised. I take the time to greet your humble bishop and his dear wife. Put your hands together for the man of God. Come on, put your hands together for the man of God. Amen. God bless you, bishop. Amen. We met recently, but we, we have good fellowship. God bless you, Bishop. I also take time to greet the Rostrum Associates. Amen. Time would fail me to name everybody, but God bless you. Good to have you. Amen. In the presence of the Lord. Amen. Also greeting the choir resters who ministers very well. God bless you tonight, my friend, Minister Waysom. To your president. Amen. Minister Clark. Minister. Oh. Okay. Minister Clark is over there. God bless you, sir. Amen. To... Those who are online, amen, those who are with me from the Mount Pella Apostolic Church, my own pastor is here, put the hands together for my pastor, amen, Pastor Wellington. And Bishop did say, I am married, but my wife never stood. So please stand, let them see you, amen, my wife is here. Glory to God, that's my wife, amen. I often say that. When we become married, two becomes one. So you see me up here speaking, but we are a team in ministry. Hello. Hello. I remember at the memorial service for the late heroine of the apostolic faith, Mother Joyce Evans, I told him that she never preached a lot. Many persons knew Bishop Dr. Ivan W. Evans. He did most of the preaching. But I was privileged to spend some time at their house. And from 3 a.m. she's up and she's praying and covering her husband in ministry. 
So while she's not at the pulpit preaching, whatever success Bishop Dr. Evans had in his ministry, Mother Evans was a part of that ministry too. So I'm thankful for my dear wife tonight, and God is indeed worthy. I'm cognizant of the time. I'm also cognizant of the fact that we have service tomorrow. And I'm cognizant of the fact that we have brethren from HBC Savlamar. Amen. And I'm also cognizant that I have to teach Sunday school tomorrow morning. And tonight is a Saturday night. Can we rise to our feet? As we turn our Bibles quickly, the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, Jeremiah chapter 20. Jeremiah chapter 1, from verse 4 to verse 10. Then we read chapter 20, a few verses from Colossians. If you found it, say amen. Come on, if you found it, say amen. amen. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces. For I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, and to throw down, to build, and to plant. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 20. You'll understand it soon. Hallelujah. Now Pashur, the son of Emma, the priest, who was also chief governor in the house of the Lord, heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Peshur smote Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. And it came to pass on the morrow that Peshur brought forth Jeremiah out of the stock. Then said Jeremiah unto him, The Lord hath not called thy name Peshur, but Migor Misabib. For thus said the Lord, Behold, I will make thee a terror to thyself. And to all thy friends, and they shall fall by the sword of thy enemies, of their enemies rather, and their, thine eyes shall behold it, and I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive into Babylon, and shall slay them with the sword. Moreover, I will deliver all the strength of this city, and all the labors thereof, and all the precious things thereof. And all the treasures of the kings of Judah will I give into the hand of their enemies, which I shall spoil them and take them and carry them to Babylon. Coming down. And thou, Pashur, and all that dwell in thine house shall go into captivity. And thou shalt come to Babylon, and there thou shalt die, and shalt be buried there, thou and all thy friends, to whom thou hast prophesied lies. Oh, God. Glory. Oh, Lord. Jeremiah speaking. Thou hast deceived me. 
And I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I and has prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mock at me. For since I spoke, I cried out, I cried violence and spoil. Because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me and a derision daily. Nine and appointed. Then said I, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name, but his word, Shaturabasaka, was in mine heart. As a burning fire. Shut up, sucker. Shut up in my bones. And I was weary with forbearing. And I could not stay. Final reading. Colossians chapter 3. Glory to God. Let's read 23 and 24. And whatsoever we do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. The word. Put your Bibles down, stretch your hands up. Everybody, everybody. Glory to God. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found. Dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne when he shall come Trump with trumpet sound. Hallelujah. Oh, oh may I then. In him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the Son. Hallelujah. Ah. Yes, Lord. Your theme says, Arise, let's get to work. But before you can go, you need to acknowledge the foundation that you need to be on. Oh, God Almighty. I feel the anointing of God in this house. I want to sing it one last time before I pray. But I just wanted to ask somebody beside you. What foundation are you standing on? Oh, Oh, God. When he shall come. 
with trumpet sound. Oh, may I bend in him be found, dressed in his right trustness alone, for less to stand before. Lift a hand to everybody and say, On Christ, on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is. Acknowledge that all of the ground is sinking sand. I pray, even as this lump of clay, this mud ball, this dust, and no man stands before your people. String me up as your instrument, your oracle. Cause me to decrease and you to increase. Let your people have receptive hearts to your words tonight. Let your Holy Ghost power walk through every single bench. Katash Sakot Shaya. Touch every single individual in your presence tonight. And let your power fall in this house. We'll be careful to give you the glory. To give you the honor and the praise. In Jesus name. Let the church say amen. You may be seated or if you prefer to remain standing that's up to you. God bless you brethren from Montpelier. As I got your theme and I, as I customarily do, I, I seek the face of the Lord before I go to speak. Because ministry is not a performance. There's a difference between ministering and performing. You perform to exalt self. You perform for self-exaltation. But when you minister, you minister for God's glory. Hello, somebody. And so I take no assignment lightly. But every time I get a theme, I'm saying this must be what is on the heart and mind of the leader. So I seek the Lord, not limiting him. But I try to seek his face in line with what's in the theme. Your theme tonight says, arise, let's get to work. There are key words in your theme. Arise. When I researched it, I'll soon give you my theme. The word arise means to get up. To stand up. Up. It's a changing from one position to another. And so if the theme is saying arise, that means some people need to change their position. Let's walk through here. 
The other word I look at of importance is work. Work is an assigned task. That's one definition, an assigned task. Teachers are here. But there's another definition for work, and it means to function. Now, I have a watch here. And if missionary should ask me the time, and I can't give the time, it simply means... Oh, Lord. The watch is not functioning. Are you therefore saying that we can be in church but we're not functioning? Oh God, Bishop, it's a Saturday night. I want to take my time, but I know I tomorrow is church. And it, Missionary Perry alluded to it. It's an awful picture to be in church pretending, but you're not functioning. I got to drive with an unsafe backslider rather than to work Tuesday. She was telling me I should take it easy, preaching, going all over. But she said to me, I'm a backslider. And I know I'm not in the right. But I cannot be in church. Say I'm on my way to heaven, not living right, and end up the same place that the sinner is going. When I walked out the car, that thing was just... Oh, God. 40 years. I've been in church 50 years. My, I got my baptism in 1950. But not functioning. <sighs> my theme for tonight is this. No more excuses. Get up and do the work of the Lord. Tell somebody, no more excuses. Get up and do the work. Oh, you only say that because I told you to say it. Turn to them and tell them with meaning. No more excuses. Get up and do the work of the Lord. Man, it's the way some we have some good talkers in church, but we don't have many good workers. They talk work and they talk sound very good. So eloquent with their speech. But when is the time to get into action? Can't find them. But tell somebody tonight, no more excuses. Oh, God. Get up. And let's get to work. Do the work of the Lord. Now, we need to understand that we are not our own. We belong to Jesus. David put it like this. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Psalm 100. Serve the Lord with gladness. My God is not a burden to serve God. If you're serving and you're under burden, my God, go back to the altar. Something is wrong. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Next verse, three. Know we that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us. I think sometimes some people need some reminding of that fact. Because sometimes we pretend as if it's us who made God and it's not God who made us. But it's he that hath made us and not we ourselves. In other words, he is the designer. We are the design. 
And the design cannot be greater than the designer. Yeah, I'm walking it through. Additionally, the designer cannot worship the design. It must be the design that worship the designer. Oh Lord. And that's why Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego could not bow to no idol. Ooh. That's not the designer. We know who our maker is. Somebody lift their hands to worship your maker. And so we need to understand that we are not our own. We belong to Jesus. Additionally, we also need to recognize that the church belongs to him. So we belong to him and the body that we are a part of belongs to him. St. Matthew 16, when he spoke with his disciples, when do you say the son of man am? We all know that very well, but then he says, there's a Simon called Peter, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Upon this rock I will build my church. There are many now who want to put claim to God's church. But this is God's church. Additionally, if you read in Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Paul speaking to the elders, he told them, take heed therefore to yourself. And to the flock over which the Holy Ghost have made you overseer. This is God's church. I'm getting somewhere. Therefore, if we are his people, and it is his church that we are part of, we got to acknowledge that he's the one that we must follow. He now outlines what the mission of his body on the earth is. And the church was established for the saving of the soul of mankind. There are other aspects that come with it, Minister Wayson. But the main reason is to save the souls of mankind. St. John 3 verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. He came to seek and to save that which was lost. So his body is in the earth. And he gave his body a commission. But he also gave his body the tools to function. Oh God. No person who is in charge of a work site or project. Go put anybody on work without giving them the tools to be successful oh God if that's the case that contractor don't mean you any good he wants that work to fail the Lord already said that upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail in other words the church cannot be defeated the church cannot go under it doesn't matter what gates will come. I said the church of God can't go under. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. 
And so when the Lord, amen, created his church, his body, amen, and he equipped the men who are in the body to function. Hallelujah. One thing he gave them, amen, the apostles, he gave them power. Hallelujah. In the Greek language, two words speaks the power. It's dunamis and exousia. The word dunamis speaks the dynamite kind of power. Sometimes we sit down so complacent as if we are just ordinary people just to run the aisle and all of that. And many of us think that the Holy Ghost is only to speak in tongues, but the devil is a liar. When you have real Holy Ghost power, if you get in a prison cell, the prison must turn upside down because that's the power that we carry. The word exousia speaks to authority. And so the Bible tells me in St. Matthew 28, 18, he says, all power is given unto me both in heaven and in earth. When you receive the Holy Ghost, you ain't an ordinary child of God. There is a power inside of you that when you step into a room, every devil in hell, every powers of darkness, every force of evil, got to back up. Oh God. Yes. So power. Why do we need the power, Minister Clark? I a sucker. Feel the power. I said the word work means to function. Without battery in this watch. Can't function. If you have Rolex... Geneva are the biggest kind of watch brand that you can ever buy. If it has no battery in it, what are you saying, preacher? We, we got to get to work. But before you go to work, you must have the power to function. You must be equipped to function. The reason why we get in problems sometimes, many of us are not yet equipped, but we want to step into some function. I feel I'm going to preach this thing right under here tonight. Whether you say amen or not, I go preach it as God give me. Hallelujah. You want to step out on some territory and you don't have no power. What I got news for you, you better be careful. Because the Bible tells me that there is an adversary. Oh God, who go it about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And we have gotten to a stage now in Pentecost when we want to use natural to fight spiritual but I come to tell you that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal you can't use carnal to work in the spiritual you need power somebody say power somebody say power somebody say power A sucker. Many now are swapping the power for some other things. Heard one say, the influence of the Holy Ghost is not real. If you say, Jesus, Jesus, long enough, your tongue gets tied up and you start speaking something else. And some now say, you don't need no Holy Ghost to function. Once you're qualified in other areas, you're good to work. There were some men in scripture called the sons of Sceva. Oh. 
Mm. Went out, have no connection to God, wanted to operate as Paul and Jesus Christ himself did without having any relationship or connection to the source that they had connection to. Ask somebody tonight, are you connected to the source? Come on, talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. Talk to them. If they are sleeping, slap them and ask them, are you connected to the source? A fan is over my head. You know why the fan is spinning? Jesus Christ. God. Whoa. The fan is connected to the source of the power, Bishop. God is not here on earth physically anymore. But each time I lift my hands, each time I open my mouth, each time a hallelujah come out of my innermost being, I am connecting to the source. And I don't understand in this day and time, there are some people who are Holy Ghost filled and you sit in a church service for four hours, two hours. You sound good, you look good, but you still no feel, no anointing, no real Holy Ghost saturating you in the midst of a Holy Ghost filled church and you have the Holy Ghost the devil said the devil is a liar I said the devil is a liar when the Holy Ghost is come you shall have you shall have you shall have touch somebody do you have it do you have it do you have it do you have the power do you have the power God God Almighty do you have the power I'm about to close. I feel the anointing in this house. Oh, some of you are too sophisticated. So your mouth can't be open. But when the Holy Ghost come, I feel a vibrating on my inside. I want to keep my mouth closed. But I just can't keep it closed. It's like a fire. Shatora Baba. Manda Kato Shire. I say it's like a fire. Usha, Shama, Ketosha. Good God, I feel him, I feel him, I feel him, I feel him. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. We are not drunken as he supposed, but this was that that was spoken by the prophet Jewel in the last day. Said, God, I'm gonna pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. You are included, you are included if you don't have the Holy goes right now uh, open your mouth uh, open your mouth uh, open your mouth uh. so. I feel God want to shift in heart I feel God want to shift in heart deeds. Oh, some of you still know me about yet. But my shako tasaka mamahaya. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Ask somebody, do you have the power? I'm about closing. I see the time. Shh. You can't function without connection to the power. know how people some people study the Bible but I saw it very detailed the Lord said to the disciples go to Jerusalem and tarry there till I give you a little touch till I give you a little drop God Almighty. because
Because he knew that when they went out to work, minister away some, they go face some forces of darkness. And with all of the natural ability that you have, you can't manage that. I'm going to get to Jeremiah and close. Hear what the word says. Thou believest that there is but one God. Thou doest well. The very devil. What are you saying, preacher? When I have God inside of me, I carry something that the very adversary is afraid of. With that said, God wants us to work in his kingdom. But we got to be equipped to work. But before we got to Pentecost, he commissioned men before the day of Pentecost to work for him. One such was the prophet Jeremiah. When he recounts how the Lord spoke to him. He said, before I formed thee in the belly. I knew you. Before your mama met your papa. I know you. I've sanctified you. Set you apart. I ordained you. Put a stamp of approval upon you from in your mother's womb to be a prophet. But here it is now. I say, I said, ah, oh, Lord, excuse number one. But I can't speak. Jeremiah. Is whom form you in the belly? You are telling me. Oh God Almighty. You are, Jesus. You are telling me, your maker and your creator, that you can't speak. Next one, I'm but a child. Jeremiah, excuse number two. Who, who created you? Who, who, who here is omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient? It's me. And believe it or not, there are many persons in the kingdom like that. They find an excuse for every single assignment I'm preaching what God laid in my spirit to preach they find an excuse minister Clark to work for God when it comes to work anywhere else The Lord said to Jeremiah, I have sanctified thee and ordained thee to be a prophet. And tonight, while I speak of him as a prophet, you don't have to have a title attached to you to work in the kingdom. I, I was looking through Ephesians 4 the other day. And, and those giftings and those positions that God gave to man, the Bible says he gave some. So, for those who are waiting for title as an excuse, I don't have no title to work yet, so I just can't work in the kingdom. I am waiting on the title. It's only some going to get title. So, title is for some. 
but the Holy Ghost is for everybody. Oh God Almighty, somebody open your mouth and shout a hallelujah in this house. Tell somebody, I may not receive a title and a call in my church life. I may not be a bishop, pastor, apostle, evangelist, or prophet, but as long as I have the Holy Ghost, I'm willing to work. I am ready to work. No more excuse. As long as I have the power. Get into an altar call. Let me help you through right there again. The devil is not afraid of your title. Can I preach in hearties? I know tomorrow is church. The devil is not intimidated by your title. Hear what the good word says. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, your bishopric, your apostleship, The Spirit of God. Too many working on position to start working. I am not going to come and clean the church because I'm not missionary or deacon. So you come and there's something to do and you don't pick up the broom to do it because guess what? That's not my position. Lord Jesus have mercy. And we find every single excuse. It was a position Jeremiah was in. The Lord said, I formed thee from the belly. I knew you, I sanctified you, and I ordained you, and I'm going to put a word in your mouth. God Almighty. Some of you wonder here, God put something inside of you, but you're afraid to release it because there are certain things that you are afraid of. Some because they think you are young, you can't function in certain way in the church, but the devil is a liar. Jeremiah was young and the Lord ordained him, commissioned him, sanctioned him to go and work for him, to bring message to Judah in a sinful position. And when he started preaching in the angel of time, there came opposition from the priests. My God Almighty, the very priest that was in the house, he never came from outside. The very priest, Emma, the priest, my God Almighty, came up with opposition. But I come to tell somebody in heart is no more excuses. I don't care who is fighting against you. I don't care who speak anything bad about you. I said no more excuse. The Holy Ghost is inside of you. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. It's time to work. It's time to work. The power is inside of you. The Holy Ghost is inside of you. You are equipped by the power. Good God Almighty. Let me run on and close this thing. And so when he started to preach what the Lord told him to preach to Judah, I come to tell somebody, don't be afraid of their faces. When you have the Holy Ghost, there is a work for you to do out there. They're going to make up their faces. They're going to say all manner of evil against you. But the Holy Ghost is inside of you. Open your mouth and declare the word of the Lord. No weapon. No weapon, Akasaka Mamahaya. No weapon. Pusha. I feel the Holy Ghost in this house. My God Almighty. I feel somebody's zeal coming back. I feel somebody's zeal coming back. I feel somebody's passion coming back. It's time to get to work. No more excuses. No more excuses. No more excuses. I am shut If you're a choir rest, sing. If you're a musician, play. If you can sweep the house, sweep the house. No more excuses. It's time, it's time! Shama mama mama sa Kita shato rabaha Good God!
The mic might fall, but my power don't cut. Somebody say hallelujah. I said mic will fall, but my power don't cut. You know why? The power is not on my lip only. The power is not in my head only. It's like a fire. Shut up. Shire Baba Saka. Man Baba Hoshire. In my bone, in my bone, in my bone. Somebody say hallelujah. I feel a shifting in the house. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. I feel power coming from somebody. Marco, my God Almighty. And so. he was empowered by God Almighty I don't care what is against you once God qualify you sanctify you ordain you let Jezebel search all she want to search Katashaya I said, let Jezebel search. Let Herod plan all he want to plan to take out Peter. Oh God Almighty. I have the power, sister. I feel the preaching with me. I said, when you have Holy Ghost power, no weapon formed against you. It can form. I say it can form. But guess the word says, it shall not prosper. So Jeremiah said, after he was beaten and taken into stock, and he was mocked Lord he said Lord you have deceived me I thought this work was going to be easy I come to tell somebody the work will not be easy I said the work will not be easy but as long as you have the Holy Ghost glory Lord, not only have you deceived me, I am in derision daily. You say you call me, you say you ordain me, you say you sanctify me, but you have deceived me because how I thought it would have worked. That's the thing. Let me slow down so you get this way around. You are the design. God is the designer. You don't tell the designer how to outline the mission. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not in your control. To tell the designer how to create the mission. Your responsibility is to get rid of the excuse. And say, Lord, my storage is empty. And I am available. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work. But before you send me out, give me some of the anointing. Oh, God Almighty. And so Jeremiah said, when persecution came, how many of us have been there? I'm wrapping up. How many of us have been there? Start with zeal. Start with fire and passion. But when opposition and persecution come, we want to throw in the towel. I came to pray for you tonight. I prepared today the Lord also laid in my spirit now is not the time to quit yeah I'm releasing it for somebody it's not quitting time it's working time 
Is there a wind down? When persecution came on Jeremiah, he says, I will not speak in his name anymore. I'm at breaking point. The persecution is too severe. I started with the Lord 50 years ago. But the suffering is too severe. The persecution is more than I can bear. So I'm ready now to throw in the towel. I will not make mention of him anymore. I will not speak in his name anymore. But this is when it is critical to have the power that when physically you can't go, when you can't carry your own self, Jesus Christ. Can I preach in hearties? Can I preach in hearties? Oh God. Mm. Bishop, can I be real? Let me just talk to you here. I've preached. I've been preaching since I was 14. And sometimes when it's the way someone I when I seek God and the word is burning inside of me. And I go to deliver the word. And you look at the response. There's a kind of feeling on. You go home and you say, God, it seems as if I have failed to deliver how you want me to deliver. Oh, you don't like real people in church, but I'm real. And then, if you're not careful, humanity takes over. Aya shut up, Ayah. And they want to just give up. And don't speak in his name anymore, as Jeremiah says. But when you get to that point, shut up, Ayah. The power of the Holy Ghost. The enabling power is what going to activate, re-energize, rekindle, and to set you back on fire again. Is there somebody who want to be on fire for the Lord again tonight? You are here, you are here, you are here. I know! I used to be a good choir master! Because of persecution, I'm not working in that capacity anymore. I stopped functioning in that area. You know, God has blessed you as a gifted musician. Because of persecution or opposition, you are thrown in that towel. And I'm not functioning anymore. You're in the position Jeremiah was at. But tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no more excuses. Halabasaka. Hilababashata. I was that faithful usher. But because of persecution and opposition, my spirit is low. I don't want to work anymore. But when Jeremiah got there, something greater than him rekindled something inside of him. I love Oshaya. I want to stop, but something inside of me is energizing me to go on. The word was like a fire. Shut up. 
That's why I don't want the mouth Holy Ghost. I want the soul Holy Ghost. That when my mouth stops speaking, something is still inside of me. Shama Masata Bahaya. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. I said, when my mouth stops speaking, Pastor, there is still something on my inside telling me to get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Sato, Shaya. Yes, woman, receive your word. Receive your word. Receive your word. Tell somebody, get up. I'm done preaching. Tell somebody, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Let the Holy Ghost burn inside of you. Let the power burn inside of you again. I'm opening these altars right now. Let's stand, everybody. Let's stand. I'm opening these altars. I'm not out a word, but my time is done. I'm not out a word, but my time is done. Jeremiah says, I'm so oppressed. I'm mocked. Some of you are mocked heavily. And the mocking is getting to your head. But let something inside of you rekindle, rekindle, rekindle. Some are persecuted. And it's the, you think it's time to throw in the towel. But no more excuse. I said no more excuse. It's time to get up and work. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Let the Holy Ghost rekindle inside of you tonight. I'm willing to work for you, Lord. I'm not going to throw in the towel. He said. Finally, Woo. Usha. Whoa. Mm. He says, But the word of God was like a fire. Shut up. And then I said, Then, then who is the word? And I go over to the book. In John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word. Shut up, sire. God, when Jeremiah was ready to throw in the towel. God himself came down. And started to have a knock inside of him again. I come to tell somebody in heart is. It's not time to quit. It's not time to throw in the towel. God is going to tabernacle. Chateau Rabba Messiah. I said God is going to tabernacle. Usha. Makata Shaba. I feel it coming for you woman. There is a rekindling of the fire inside of you right now. Chateau Rabba Messiah. I wish I had a worshiping church through here. Chateau Rabba Basaka. I feel a rekindling coming for somebody. If you believe I'll tell your belly. I'm not going to throw in the towel. I am not going to quit. There is something inside of me that is pushing me forward. Come ushers. I'm ready to open the altar. Shatashato. I feel God want to release fresh. I feel fresh fire. I feel fresh fire. About to burn in somebody's soul. I say I feel fresh fire. Shato Mama Saka. Oh you both shot. God God Almighty. God God Almighty. God God Almighty. I am not gonna throw in the towel here. I'm not gonna give any more excuse. It's time to get up. It's time to work. It's time to work. I feel a shifting in the house. I feel a shifting in the house. Oh, some of you can't open your mouth because you're not connected to the swords. But I feel a rekindling of the fire. Oh, my God Almighty. I feel a Holy Ghost rekindling in the house. 
Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. Somebody said fire over here. Somebody said fire over here. Somebody said fire in the middle here. I said there is a rekindling. There is a rekindling. There is a rekindling. My Yahushua, I'm not going under. I'm not going under. I am not a loser. I am not a quitter. Ay 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 ay. Mama 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 sakosha. Hila bashata ya. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, 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 my Yashaya, Elamo Shata, my God Almighty. Jeremiah said, Jeremiah said, it's like fire. The word, I feel a rekindling in my soul. My God Almighty. Rekindling Bishop, fresh anointing, fresh Holy Ghost oil, Manda Baba Basa, Hila Baba Baba Shataya, Makatosha, my God Almighty, you are not going to backslide, you are not going to backslide. Woo! Woo! Makatosha. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. Fresh anointing. Fresh kindling. Fresh power. It's in heart ease. It's in heart ease. It's in heart ease. On this Saturday night, Lord God Almighty, it's like a runaway train. Oh, shut up. I got to quit. Not the word. But my time is done. Lord God. Shut up. Hala mama saka. He cut a mama saka. Shut up. God, God Almighty, I feel a shifting in heart teeth. Oh, some of you can't feel the power because you're too sophisticated. Your mouth can't open. But when enemy come in like a flood, you better have holy ghost. Keto Shire. Manda Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the power. And the last thing I will do, then you come to the altar. And when you walk up to this altar, whether you save or run, save. Because sometimes we save, but we, we fire. Or fire. Because of different situations, Bishop. I, I preach to my wife before I go preach elsewhere. I said, sometimes because of some situation, we, we want to quit. Persecution, opposition. Sometimes the fear of failure. Sometimes you lose some loved one and the grieving process taking you on a journey to like Job I have to curse God and die. But when I get to that point, there is something in my inside still telling me I have more work to do. Shut up, Messiah. The Bible said it was the word of God. Hear what Jesus says? St. John 6 and 63. The spirit quickened. The flesh profited nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit. And they are everything that was dead tonight is coming alive. Before you walk out of here, oh, shut up, my sucker. Some of you have. Can I preach, Bishop? Jesus Christ, some of your God put some ministry inside of you and you're sitting down playing dead. When 
God wants you to activate power. So many out there dying in sin and God have a work for you to do and you're sitting down having a pity party. The devil is a liar. The next thing. The word of God is quick. Hebrews 4 and 12. Powerful. Sharper. And the last one I'll touch. When I meditated to get here. Ezekiel. Was brought in the spirit. Into the valley. Of dry bones. And they were very dry. very dry I, I refuse to be in the house of God and remain dry everything that is dead must come alive everything that is dead must come alive how is it going to come alive Oh, somebody preaching with me. Somebody preaching with me. It won't come alive if you keep your mouth shut. Some are too sophisticated. Your mouth can't open when you come to church. Got a shire. And I have the word of God to quicken me. Prophesy. And this was what the Lord laid in my spirit to tell it to say. I shall not die. Jesus Christ the altars are now open but for those who are coming to the altar backslider unsafe safe who need strength listen to this little boy's instruction you're going to walk with your hands lifted you're going to open your own mouth and you're going to declare to that old adversary that everything that is dead in me cut the bus go come alive and you know what they're going to tell you you go open your mouth and declare it right as a matter of fact lift your hands everybody right now let's all stand let's all stand some of you don't know how to shift some things in your life. Some of you don't know how to shift some things from out of your life. Oh, shut up, Baba Saka. When Jeremiah was about to throw in the towel, it was the word of God that brought back life to him. If it could have brought life to Jeremiah, can I bring to you? With your hands lifted, everybody. Save and save on the rostrum outside, right across his house. No more excuses. Get up. It's time to work for the Lord. But you're going to open your own mouth right now. I feel an anointing about to be released, and you walk up to the altar. And you're going to say with everything that is within you, I shall not die. But live to declare the words of the Lord. Open your mouth, say it. Open your mouth and say it. I shall not die. Tell that old devil, but live, 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 live. I said, live. Young people, live and serve God. All people get an anointing in the soul right now. Hey, 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 hey. I hear a sound in heart I hear a sound in heart If you don't have the Holy Ghost under this anointing, come now, come, 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 come. I shall not die. You shall not die. You must You shall not die. I say you shall not die. Hey, 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Walk up here with your hands lifted. Receive the Holy Ghost in your seat. I shall not die. Yeah.
yes, take the Holy Ghost. Take the Holy Ghost. Take the Holy Ghost. Take the Holy Ghost. It's in your mouth right now. It's in your mouth. Yes. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. I shall not die. I shall not die. I sh yes. Yes, open your mouth and speak the Holy Ghost. Out of your belly. Out of yes, come on. It's in your mouth. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Yes, girl. It's up on you right now. It's up on you right now. The word, the word, the word like a fire. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Out of your belly. Out of your belly. Maya Shato Rabba Messiah. Mama, 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 mama. Out of your belly. 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 Yes, not the Holy Ghost. Not the Holy Ghost. My God, somebody's a Holy Ghost. Somebody's a Holy Ghost. Somebody's a Holy Ghost. Come on, girl. It's in you. It's in you. It's in you. Jesus Christ. The power is in your belly. Usha. Open your mouth and speak what God is doing inside of you. Come on. Stammering lip and another tongue. Down the Holy Ghost. Come on, it's in you, it's in you, it's in you. Sure, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Somebody say Holy Ghost. 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 Say, Holy Ghost. Jeremiah said it's like fire. Jeremiah said it's like fire. Hey, Shato Rabahaya. Jeremiah said it's like fire. Yes, receive the power. Oh, tie your belly. He cut a mama massacre. Oh, tie your belly. Shall flow. My soul say yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Shama. My soul say yes. Receive the power. Yes. Yes, Lord. Receive the Holy Ghost. My soul say yes to the bliss in love my soul open your mouth and receive the Holy Ghost oh yes sir come on it's in your mouth yes Lord my soul my soul my soul my soul say yes receive the Holy Ghost Come on, out of your belly, out of your belly, out of your belly. Let the power of the Holy Ghost saturate you. Out of your belly. To the bleeding now. Come on, come, come, come. Yes, Holy Ghost upon this woman right here. Come, come. Got a purpose upon your girl. Got a purpose over your life right now. Hey, Shanta Baba I said, yes, come on. Yes. No more excuses. No more excuses. I surrender to you tonight, Jesus. I surrender to you tonight, Lord. Yes, come on. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes, Lord. 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 Yes,